is the case. All this week I'm on the sick leave, so I have a, a bit more time <coughs> to uh, prepare something uh, to you about the our SDK. So last time uh, we issued together with you the revocable credential. And we made a little hack that we just create in memory uh, the holder wallet and issuers just grab the DID of holder directly from this wallet. But, you know, it's not what uh, actually happens in the real life. So, um, usually you already know about the classical triangle that uh, we have a couple of roles in SSI. And this uh, roles um, actually this uh, flows are extremely user centric. So in the middle of everything is the holder that owns the VCs. So he could accept the VCs from issuer, or he could provide the VCs to verify. So today we will uh, talk about this issuer holder relations, and. Um, what we have, what kind of problem, so, uh, and uh, this problem is solved by our SDK, that we need a protocol that could prove the identity and authorship of every role. So what it means, that uh, we need a way that a holder could understand uh, who is talking to uh, him and uh, what kind of offer he have. And as you already know, our identities is just the keepers, so we should s sign some entities and prove our identity of of our keys. So, um, Affinity SDK offer transport agnostic protocol for exchange um, VCs based on the GVT tokens. So, it's uh, what it means the transport agnostic that uh, we uh, explain you uh, the entities, how you could exchange them, how you could verify them, but you choose as an application the delivery method. It could be the Ditcom or maybe affinity messages or any custom service or in memory. So we ex uh, extremely flexible. Uh, you could build whatever you want. But today we will focus on the flow that issuer wants to uh, deliver or issue the new VC to a holder. So it could be done with the request response for offer. Uh, uh, for holder and the issuer, so this uh, request and responses allows them to identify each other. So uh, on this diagram, <coughs> we have a lot, a bit of more technical details. So we have two wallets, so two instances of SDK, the holder SDK and issuer SDK. Uh, here we have our services that actually help us to uh, do the operations and so on. So what happens? That issuer decide to uh, build the credential for offer and use the issuer service for this and uh, actually uh, holder will uh, get this uh, credential for offer from the issuer. And uh, what the um, holder should do? First of all, uh, he could uh, resolve the DAD and get the public key of the issuer and actually verify the signature of uh, the issuer on the GVT token. In this case, a uh, holder will know uh, what kind of issuer and the uh, holder will know that this token came from exactly this issuer so he could trust this token and he could uh, trust actually the issuer. And uh, here you see that we resolve in the DID and uh, then if you are happy with the offer, uh, we create something like uh, offer response and uh, send it actually to the issuer and now issuer uh, could do exactly the same procedure. He could resolve our DID, identify and check the signature. After that, he could fin finally uh, sign and create the credential. But the trick is that he will pick the holder DAD from actually our token that already signed by us so and identified. So it's mean that uh, you uh, resolve the holder DAD from the uh, uh, verified and protected by the protocol flow. And when he finished the um, signing of the VC that it was proposed to us, he will send us back the VC.
So let's make our uh, hands dirty. So what we should do? First of all, for sure, as usually, the factory. We create the factory. We obtain our access key. We uh, prepare the options and prepare the wallets. It's uh, already familiar to you. And uh, let's uh, go to the details of uh, this flow. So uh, we create the uh, of um, request. Uh, for offer. So what this request for offer could contain? First of all, uh, it's as we already said, it's agnostic from holder. It could be sent to multiple holders at the same request. Uh, it's uh, help us to identify the issuer. So it will be signed by the issuer. It's super important. And the most important thing that we share, what kind of credentials we want to share with you. So first of all, you could see the offered credentials is array. So we could uh, offer multiple credentials. Here we specify the type of credential. So you remember our content like. So we want to share the content like with user. Uh, if we talking about the complex UI, we could pr uh, provide some rendering info that uh, uh, could be used on UI or could be used for anal uh, analyzing what kind of credential details we have. So we said that we want to uh, share the content like with you. Optional thing is the callback URL. And uh, what we do? We generate the offer based on this uh, data. And what we get back? We get back this long, long GVT. And uh, if you will... Uh, decode GVT. Uh, so what we have inside? First of all, we have the callback URL and offer credential object that we already uh, specified. And uh, we have the expiration date and that's uh, important to understand that all these tokens was designed for short living period of um, Interexchange. So please don't persist them or don't store them somewhere. So they was designed as a <coughs> protocol token. So every token have the expiration date. And uh, here we have the type of the token. We have the secret nouns. And what's more important, uh, we have the issuer uh, DAD. And we specify what kind of keys from this DAD document we should use for the issuance. And uh, now, as we have this uh, request, uh, we could uh, transmit it to the holder, and holder could analyze it and do all the things. And if holder is happy, holder uh, just grab yet another method of our SDK that uh, create the offer response. And for this, you just need to specify uh, just a request. So you put the request as a parameter for response, and we get yet another magic GVT. And if you will uh, go deeper inside, uh, we will see that uh, we have practically the same payload. But uh, here, what's uh, really important that uh, we have the uh, DAD of the holder and the key that should be used uh, to uh, check the signature of the holder. And we grab this uh, token and uh, send it back to the issuer and what issuer could do first of all we have the special mechanism that allow us to verify that uh, a particular request uh, particular response and request they are correct and uh, so on so what it's mean that uh, Issuer should not trust every response. Issuer should uh, uh, validate the response for every request. So we specify response and request and get back the validation result. And as you see, the nouns is the same. So it's, it was signed by the same person. We get that it's a valid. First of all, it's more important. And we get the DID of uh, uh, signer. And now, uh, as we validate the uh, response, uh, we could use this response actually to issue our uh, VC. And this code should look familiar to you. So we have the schema, uh, we prepare the unsigned VC. And for super cool video, we put the score 10 on, uh, of 10. But we have 
special uh, method in a SDK, sign credentials. So it's uh, uh, really could sign the array of the credentials. So we have only one credential and we specify our response. And uh, uh, what we see in a prepared credential that for holder uh, DID, we have the placeholder. So it's not a real data, but when we issue the credential in the holder, we will have the proper we will have the proper DID and it's the most important thing that uh, all this uh, inter-exchange protocols uh, could uh, help us to identify the parties to inter-exchange the uh, information and what's more important you see that right now we have a credential that issued for a particular verified uh, holder so Next time we will talk about this uh, correlation about the holder and verifier. We already uh, have a chat about this in my previous video about the verifiable presentations. So we could uh, have here two different things. So we could have a request and response for sharing or we could have a request for uh, sharing and uh, verifiable presentation. But we will talk about this uh, in our next videos and right now I hope that it's uh, make more clear how the inter-exchange uh, um, protocols work and how the SDK could help you with this. If you have any questions just uh, let me know uh, and um, let's have a chat how you use our SDK and what kind of uh, uh, cool projects you built on